stricken is, a, I'm trying to teach teenagers, you know, to be more careful about when they have sexual intercourse, about the diseases that they can get, and about how they can die. Oh, my name is uh, Mrs. Uh, Smith, uh -huh. and I'm playing Dr. Brown in this movie. These tests have come back positive. No, no, it's just not time yet. I can't. Uh... Yes, I find it quite challenging, especially when I have to tell these young person that he has AIDS and to me that is a challenge in okay. Oh. Well, the director of this film is, has been my neighbor for since he was born. Oh, so your neighbors? Yes, and uh, he has been a very, uh, a very encouraging young man to me. Uh, he's been, he's, he's a challenging person. Oh, okay. And I find him very inspirational. Yes, this hasn't been the uh, first uh, movie he has uh, put on display. He, he he did put on one in my beauty salon once. Well, pretty much it was all ad-libbed. Only, we only stuck to the most scarce of the plot that was in the script and only if it was totally necessary. Most of the time we just made up what we were doing. I play Kiana, the... Uh, Ronald's sister. See, this could be a big problem. I think we better tell mom and dad. Tell mom and dad, are you crazy? No, are you? I'm being logical. Find out if she has AIDS. Um, she's not in high school yet. She's interested in magazines and, you know, girl stuff. So it's, it's fun. It's interesting. I get to act and actually sometime probably be an actor if I get good at it. I feel as it's fun to be around somebody that you normally know, like instead of being around somebody that you really don't know and nothing about them. Well, we had a lot of fun joking and laughing and all that kind of stuff. And we had a camera and all that stuff here, and we liked it. It was fun. Scene 90, take two. Five, four, three... Two, one, action. Oh, Clayton Coward Counts. Yo, Ronald. Anna? You had it. That stuff with that wall? What's up? About your girl, right here. I don't bet so, Steve. Let me see. Get down. Let me see this. Wait, check it out. He went to go see, he went to talk to his sister to see what she thought. Well, we're still knowing scene nine, but we're, now we're just trying it from different angles, various angles, closing in and coming out. And the cameraman, is, the cameraman is getting ready as we speak. Good shot of him. Yeah, he's doing a really good job. Oh, because we got some crazy people in the cast. I don't know why he hired them. Who are you and who are you playing in this picture now? <laughs> who am I? Oh, Sharon. The girlfriend of Ronald. Okay, now how hard was it filming that last scene we just saw you in? Very. Okay, so is this true? No. I mean, this your phone number right there, 548104. It's right there. But it's not true. You've been too telling me, haven't you? No. Then we saw this on the wall. You got AIDS, don't you? What? Who told you that? The wall told me, that's who. And you gonna believe the wall? And, and the finished product, I would not be on camera. Mm -hmm. Well, earlier, when he did me a camera on the toilet, okay. I felt so cheap. Roll tape and roll sound. I think the director has some kind of deranged mind. He's doing like toilet shots and whatnot. And I, per he, I think he's been crazy for years. I mean, I used to go to school with him. He, he's just wacky, man. Yes, I really don't even know what my part is, but uh, I'll just go. You didn't get a script? 
What director wouldn't give you a script? Robert Goffin. Very bad one, that's <laughs> Very bad director. And, and what are you about to get ready to do? Um, I'm just sitting there and watch, just seeing how the scenery is and all that. Do you have a part in this in this scene? I don't think so. You sure about that? Not really sure. Uh, now you've been working with this young lady here yes. all day, and I asked you before, but I, I, you've worked with her a little longer now. How do you feel about her now? Like, think she's a good actress. Yes. What's her? Uh, what's the best part of what she's done today? Uh, the part when she hugged me—that was emotional. <laughs> Say about that. It's just acting. Hey Clayton, don't speak. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. What? This, look at this. Boot leg. Okay. This must be stopped. I hope no one's gonna be bootlegging our film because, like, if it do, it's gonna be a real shame. Look, look at this. If you were not, if you weren't asking anybody, you would swear this is an original copy of the Jurassic Park: The Lost World. Just look at it. It sickens me. It sickens me.